Hello, and welcome to ABB Robotics. My name is Justin Hickmont. I am a service support specialist within the customer service division located in Auburn Hills, Michigan. In today's episode, we will be discussing the run chain circuit or the safety circuit within the IRC5 controller. In that circuit, you have what's called auto stop, general stop, e-stop, and superior stop. General stop is monitored all the time and is normally wired to your light curtains or your floor scanners. Now we will be displaying general stop. General stop in this cell is active or monitored when the positioner is active or trying to rotate. For instance, right now I have motors on. Motors on and the interchange or the positioner is active so if I cross my hand through this light curtain, I'm going to receive a general stop fault. General stop. Now we are gonna show you the physical location within an IRC5 controller of the run chain jumpers. The factory run chain jumpers are located here. General stop signals are located on contact connector X5 on the panel board. The panel board currently has the factory jumpers installed. Now let's take a look at the electrical prints. Now that we are moving on to the circuit diagrams, you can take a detailed look into what position within the X5 connector are designated for each of the channels for general stop. The X5 connector in position 10 is the first positive chain for general stop circuit named GS1 positive. As you can see there is a 24 volt supply coming out of the panel board on connector X5 position 12 which is being pushed through the factory jumper to position 11 and 10. Now that we know where GS1 positive gets its 24 volts from with the factory jumpers installed Let's go ahead and take a look at GS1 negative or zero volt and where it's located on connector X5 position eight. As you can see in the circuit diagram, there is a very similar factory jumper in position seven, eight, and nine, which position seven is the zero volt supply from the panel board. If we look at GS1 and GS2 channels, you will see a very similar circuit. On connector X5 position four, you will see GS2 positive is being supplied from position six when the factory jumper is installed. GS2 negative is located on X5 position two. With the factory jumper installed, GS2 will get its zero volt circuit from connector X5 position one. Our general stop safety chain is a dual channel chain which requires each channel to be broken at the exact same time. If the GS1 channel is broken before the GS2 channel, then the controller will provide a fault in reference to an inconsistent timing of signals. Now that we understand our dual channel safety chain for general stop, run chain, let's talk about some common wiring examples. The most common way to interrupt the general stop circuit is to wire the operator light screen or floor scanner and or safety PLC into GS1 positive located on connector X5 position 10 and GS2 negative located on connector X5 position 2. In the example displayed, we are using a Pluto safety PLC, which if we look, is using our 24 volts coming from the panel board on connector X5 position 12. The power can also come from an external power supply if it is stable, clean power. On the circuit diagram, you will see that the safety device is connected into GS1 positive connector X5 position 10 and GS2 
negative connector X5 position two. You will still need a jumper from position seven to position eight on connector X5 just to satisfy the zero volt side of GS1 negative. And you will also still need a jumper from GS2 positive going from position six to position four on connector X5 so that we satisfy the positive side of GS2. Once all wiring has been set up and verified, then proper testing and verification of functionality will need to be performed and approved before the robot system is placed into production. Thanks for watching this video on the safety run chain inside an IRC5 controller.